Hello, 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 and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll be looking at audio enhancements, um, and namely the built in ones into the audio adjustment section on the inspector of Final Cut Pro 10. So, without further ado, let's jump straight in. In our timeline, we've got some tutorial material that I recorded for you guys. This tutorial will be online about the Final Cut Pro Event Manager, which is a great little addition, um, great little extra program. And this footage was recorded with ScreenFlick, which is what I used to record my tutorials. Uh, you can see it in my dock here. This is a really good screen recording program. I'll put a link in the description. Um, I wasn't paid to say that. I do generally like the program. And if we go over to the inspector, uh, if you can't see it, just click on the eye. And then go over to the audio tab. And what we actually want to do is click on this arrow here, you can see it's even warning us already that there are potential problems detected and one of the problems I can see just by looking is how inconsistent the audio is for instance you can see that there's lots of dull bits, there's lots of bits where I'm clearly talking because there is some noise um, and then there's bits where I'm talking where it's a lot louder and I think that is one of the problems that Final Cut's probably detected um, it's actually also detected some background noise so if we just check this button here then we are now given control of a slider that allows us to reduce background noise one of the things I want to do first before I uh, do background noise is just adjust the volume so that I'll definitely be able to hear for any uh, background noise that may need removing and that is we just check this button here and you can see we've now got two sliders amount and uniformity now by sliding the amount you can see in our timeline that the size of the volume um, goes up. If you think that the taller the bar, the louder the volume um, in simple terms. And you can see that the, if we put it to 100% it's now really loud. And this isn't actually adjusting the um, general gain on it, we can still boost this up even more. Um, this is just an extra slider that controls the volume. And then we've got this other slider called uniformity. Now what that will do is balance out the the volume, uh, the amplitude of each bit. So if we increase this, you can see that actually it starts to become a lot more even. And the lower bits get boosted up as well. If we slide that back down, you can see that we start off... Um, we start off with a very up-down, up-down, up-down look. So if I just turn off audio skimming. And then when we boost this up you can see it starts to become a lot more level now if we just play this back however obviously the amount of events you're going to have is just going to stack up and stack up and then suddenly you're going to have so many and you can see that that sounds a lot nicer we just need to reduce this audio gain uh, what you don't want is it hitting a roof now by that I mean let's say that we had the gain up high you can see that the audio has actually got nowhere to go and it's just going to sound a bit fuzzy um, event manager X. and you can hear a real blur and distortion it's disgusting really if, um, if I was a sound designer by trade I might just throw up um, uh, we can just do that and what basically what you want is you don't want it to peek into reds um, much at all really especially for my target audience you guys you really want it to be leveling around um, the yellows um, just because that's quite a nice high volume it's not like I'm not trying to create dynamics where some bits are low and some bits are high like you want to do to build up suspense in a film I just want a consistent high um, audible yeah. quality um, but I would recommend that the loudness increase you keep it to a minimal um, you can use the uniformity a lot but actual volume increases that you want to perform I would use this slider here which actually um, is keyframable if you hold down alt or option um, I've done a tutorial on this but you can see that you can actually keyframe the height or the volume of um, the audio over time basically you hold down alt um, or option key to click and you can create keyframes and then you can move these keyframes up or down um, side to side or you can actually grab the bar in between them which makes a bit of sense. Um, so for instance if there was a bit in the tutorial where I'm slightly quieter maybe this area here looks slightly quieter. The reason I'm creating two is so that I can increase this middle bit without affecting the bit around it. Now, one of the flaws of Final Cut and one of its um, pros I guess as well sounds lovely. So 
it would be interesting to hear from you guys' point of view whether you can actually tell the difference between the recorded version of me and the normal version. Now we can click on background removal, anyway, and we can decrease or increase this. We'll just give it a listen just to see. Um, let's just decrease the uniformity loudness. Give this a listen to. And one of its um, pros, I guess. You can well. see that one of the things it's actually done a little bit is taken out some of the bass, so I don't want to do too much background now, removal. Now, this is useful. Obviously, you can be like, okay, I just want a little bit of media from this project without having to... And you can also remove hum. I know there's actually minimal hum in this. This is useful. Obviously, you can be like... Okay, you can hear that now. That actually almost adds an echo to it, which we don't want. Um, so you can see very quickly we've actually um, adjusted the audio to our needs. We've create, made the audio more consistent over time so that it doesn't go up and down quite so much. You can obviously see this is a quiet bit but I actually don't talk in this bit so that's not an issue whatsoever. Um, and we've also got rid of some background noise so hopefully this was useful. Hopefully now you can start playing around with some voiceovers and whatnot. And uh, One of the other things you can play with is if we just press this arrow key here you can see that we've got a few pan modes that just add some basic um, effects, well when I say effects, they're just um, the way that it equalizes the sound is slightly different um, it gives you some control over and also there's some audio effects, if we click this all here, if you can't see the effects browser just click on this the, uh, well, the effects browser icon, I guess is the only way to describe it and you can see there's loads of built-in um, equalizers and actual just voice effects for instance chorus um, Alien, that I sound cool as an alien. You can see now the Pino projects, Final Cut 6 and 7, are now in our project library. And I guess I'll leave you with that, so I'll see you guys soon uh, with some brand new Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. Thanks for watching.